this is something that I've really been focusing on and I've struggled with it in my past that sometimes you get a job as a stepping stone to the next job. Like you always kind of got your, and I, I feel like what you kind of proved is what I've been trying to really shape my mind in is that do what you're doing in the present, the best pot, the best you possibly can. And then opportunities then tend to present themselves like that kind of is like, as I'm listening to you and our conversation, it was just like, Oh, like what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, but but you were just focused on doing your job really well, yep. as opposed to like, Oh, I'm just eyeing that chair. Like, no. you know, I think sometimes when you eye the chair, that's actually can be a detriment because you're not really doing what you're supposed to be doing as well as you should be. If I were to tell you that this, you know, when I, when I came here that I thought this was my path, I would say, I would have told you, no, this was, right. it was, it was to build capacity in human resources, you know? And, and now that I'm, now that the opportunities present itself, I, I'm, right. like I said, I, I, it's a pleasure to come to work each and every single day. I it really it. is. And I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate. I love it. And you, Eddie, you're just, you're just mentioning this and we were talking a little bit. I know you touched a little bit about it. Uh, what I really appreciate is, so I'm doing, I think I have 30 or some of these opening days coming up and <laughs> this is yours is a little bit different in the sense that most of them, they've been done year after year after year. They know exactly where they're going to be. They have their schedule and they're just kind of plugging me into the, the speaker slot, that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, this is new. This is new to you. Like you're like, where are we even <laughs> like, you didn't yeah. know where, where you're doing this. You figured out all these logistics. So like, what was the, and I know you kind of touched on this kind of bringing everyone together. Like what, what it ultimately, what's the hope that as people walk out of there, and I guess this is kind of, we're, we're getting rid of a meeting by me getting this on the podcast right now. Cause you're going to, I'm going to ask you this anyway, Absolutely. but yeah, what, yes. what are we hoping people walk out of there that day? Like what's the hope for that? My, my hope is look, I, I think that we need to build relationships here. Not, not just amongst, you know, the hallways, your second grade teacher or, or among departments, yeah. but Edison is one whole, right? And establishing a culture and an environment that breeds success and, and having people enjoy coming to work every single day and, and yeah. not being afraid to take risks, right? In their teaching or their work or whatever, they, or whatever they're doing and knowing that we're here to support them, right? And to to get everybody together to talk about the future of Edison, right? You know, yeah. like, like we said previously, one of the tenets of great leaders is that they, they speak about what great things are to come. And yeah. the only way in my mind that we can do that effectively was to get them all together at first. And you're, and you're right, George, I had no clue where I was going to do. I thought about a couple different places and they're like, Eddie, you know, we can fit half of the staff here right. you can do in the morning. I said, no, no. It has to be every member of our organization. Wow. The buildings will be shut down. I want everyone there. So uh, with a little help from, you know, from our team, mm -hmm. they found it. And uh, we, we, knew who, we knew the guy we wanted, right? We, we, knew, we knew who we wanted to kick off. And, uh, and I, you know, like I said, I, I think that this event will, it's, it's just going to set a positive tone for not only this year, but for years to come. And uh, it, it should be a tradition that we celebrate. We should celebrate people's successes. We should celebrate longevity in the district. Mm. We should celebrate the acquiring of tenure because it's it, yeah. it's tough to get in Edison. It's rigorous. And, I, I, you know, like I said, I think the more that we do this, the, the more we'll build our brand, right? Mm -hmm. Celebrating sure. success, student and staff. 